We now live in an age where what should be obvious, and still is to some of us, is now considered obscene. And if you dare to point out the obscenity, you are labeled as the evil one, the racist, the bigot, the Nazi, and good has become evil and evil good. Notrum Emery posted a Facebook reel from her TikTok account on August 1st, 2022, that speaks to this very same cognitive dissonance. She sees the unraveling of the country in her first statement, quote, I never thought I would have to face the prospect of not living in the United States of America, at least not the one I have been living in all my life. I've never wanted to live anywhere else. This is my home, and I was privileged to be born here. This morning when I woke up and had my morning coffee, I realized everything was about to change. No matter how I vote, no matter what, I see something evil has invaded our nation and our lives are never going to be the same." End quote. She posted this reel on August 1st, 2022. Now we're in 2024 and considering what was going on in 2022, Maybe there should be fewer people who are feeling like the America they knew is now gone. I mean, we've gotten back to normal, right? But MRA does say she sees, quote, something evil has entered our nation and our lives are never going to be the same. And I agree. I don't think our lives, our way of thinking, our society as we once knew it can be woven back together into a tapestry recognizable to those of us who remember what life used to be like when we could all see the obvious, where we all could tell the difference between good and evil. And many see this as a battle between good and evil. But regardless whether the reader does or not, my point in including her missive here is that people all over the nation are recognizing that the fabric is unraveling and our country will never be the same. This social media user even understands that it matters not whom she votes for. The damage is done and irreversible. Let me say that again. It matters not who you vote for. The damage is done and irreversible. Let me say that. Again, it matters not who you vote for. The damage is done and irreversible. It may seem as though I sound hopeless. I've had so many friends of mine tell me to say hopeful, but everyone is looking for someone else or the other party or a miracle or a candidate to save us, to turn the tide. And Everyone who's doing that, who's looking for someone else or a miracle to save our way of life, to save the America we thought we knew, those people seem to be just as blind as the people who cannot see the unraveling. The damage is done and it is irreversible. MRA continues, quote, I've been confused by the hostility of family and friends. I look at people I've known all my life so hate-filled they agree with opinions they would never express as their own. I think I may have well entered the twilight zone. We become a nation that has lost its collective mind, end quote. And this is one of the reasons I decided to write this tome. In May of 2020, I was going to write about how the pandemic revealed we live in a society we would never have imagined just 10 years ago. But I almost immediately stopped writing that particular missive because I naively believed that the examples I planned to point to would be moot in just a few short weeks. By the time I went to publication, I told myself, this societal phase would be over. We would have forgotten how shocking our government and society's response truly was because we would have already returned to normal. And though the examples I planned to point to are no longer shocking, that is the incredible part because they are not yet moot. I was urged to write this book in the spring of 2022. And by the time I am writing this, I started wondering again whether I should even try to publish as perhaps there is still a chance at reclaiming our republic and reversing the insanity. I started doubting I had anything worth saying. 
but I push forward anyway because the new normal is not normal at all. And my message should resonate around the idea that it truly does not matter who we vote for because, quote, something evil has invaded our nation and our lives are never going to be the same. The society is unraveling. And just because there are those trying to gather all the threads and lump them together, it is just a pile of threads. The beauty of the tapestry is seen only in the individual colors and textures of the deconstructed pattern and picture. The tapestry itself has been destroyed. And I also use that phrase that, that she used, living in the twilight zone over and over too, both back in 2020, 2021, 2022. If you are unfamiliar with that TV series, the, the Twilight Zone TV series, there is really no better way to describe the feeling I had, I still have. But it's like, this cannot be reality. It just can't. The world is just too upside down. And honestly, even more disturbing is how many people don't recognize the upside downedness of it all, which makes it even more like living in the twilight zone. So if you have no idea what we're talking about, I kind of would urge you to go watch some episodes of the show, especially if you've never watched any episodes of the show. Emery also wrote and read her own list of examples of contradictions and rejections of natural law and truths. So this is all from her. If a guy pretends to be a woman, you are required to pretend with him. Somehow it is un-American for the census to count how many Americans are in America. Russians influencing our elections are bad, but illegals voting in our elections is good. 20 is too young to purchase a beer, but 18 is old enough to vote. People who have never owned slaves should pay slavery reparations to people who have never been slaves. People who have never been to college should pay the debts of college students who took out huge loans for their degrees. Immigrants with tuberculosis and polio are welcome, but you better be able to prove your dog is vaccinated. Doctors and engineers who want to emigrate to the U.S. must go through a rigorous vetting process. But any illiterate gangbanger who jumps the southern fence is welcome. Five billion dollars for border security is too expensive, but 1.5 trillion for free health care is not. If you cheat to get into college, you go to prison. But if you cheat to get into the country, you can go to college for free. People who say there's no such thing as gender are demanding a female president. We see other countries going socialist and collapsing, but it seems like a great plan to us. Some people are held responsible for things that happened before they were born, and other people are not held responsible for what they are doing right now. Criminals are caught and then released to hurt more people, but stopping them is bad because it is a violation of their rights. She concludes, quote, We are clearly living in an upside down world where right is wrong and wrong is right, where moral is immoral and immoral is moral, where good is evil and evil is good, where killing murderers is wrong but killing unborn babies is a-okay, and pointing out all this hypocrisy somehow makes us racist, end quote. And I am betting that right now there are people listening to this that are balking at some of these contradictions because they take the illogical side and they are dealing with their feelings about the issue instead of the cognitive dissonance it takes to believe and hold their position. And I could add to these crazy contradictions as I am sure every reader and listener could. So she, I think she's articulating the thoughts of many, many Americans when she says, quote, nothing makes sense anymore, end quote. I honestly don't even know who this individual is, but that is the point, because this is what I mean by the unraveling. The nobodies are seeing it, but we are not being taken seriously by those with a voice to point out what we are seeing. The tapestry has fallen apart and the world seems 
quite topsy-turvy. How is it that American priorities and values have shifted so far that what should be obvious to all and still is obvious to some now seems obscene to others? The obvious has turned obscene and nothing makes sense anymore.